Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and this is the sixth, I think, part of the Debian web server tutorial series. Um, so, we might as well get straight into it. The What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up the Apache config file to listen to multiple domain names and treat them as separate servers. And um, that's quite simple, really. So, if you're watching this, then you probably want to um, host multiple websites on the same server. Which is quite useful. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to connect to our server. And here we are. I've logged in. I'm using our root user. So the first thing we need to do is to... One sec. Sorry about that. Um, the first thing we need to do is clear everything that's already in the um, var www folder. So to do that, we do rm and then var www and then asterisk. So that we've just deleted everything in there. So that's basically the index file that's already in there. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change to that directory. So we do ch no cd sorry and then var www so now we're inside that directory we can see that there's nothing in there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of folders and um, I've just pasted that in there for you but what we're doing is we're using the make dir command which is make directory and then we're creating the following directories inside so we've got error logs which is where the error logs for each domain will be stored we've got the logs folder which is all the access logs We've then got the domains folder, which is where all the different folders for each domain will be placed. And we've then got domains slash tld, uh, domain one dot tld, which is the first domain name we're going to be using. Um, and domain two dot tld. There you go. These aren't, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to say is these aren't real domains, but I've um, used a little trick to modify the host file so that it thinks that they are real domains and they're pointing them here and um, there will be a link in the description to a video where I've talked about how you can do that and what it is and why you should do it really um, so we're good. we've created them folders so once we've done that we might as well get ac um, editing the Apache config file um, and the reason I'm going to say we've done that first is if we restart Apache and we don't have the the folders, it will error out and it can break a couple of things. It's nothing to really worry about. You just have to go in and add those directories and then restart Apache and it'll work. But we might as well do that first anyway. So the way we edit the Apache config file is we go to nano and then etc Apache 2 sites available and then default one thing I will say is that is definitely the directory location for Debian it also works on Ubuntu for other um, dis different distributions of Linux it probably won't so you're going to need to watch a video specific to that but as this is a Debian web server tutorial series, it, it works. <laughs> so you'll see we've already got quite a lot of different um, lines in here. And we don't really need any of this, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything. And the way we do that is we hold down the control key and the K. And it'll delete each line and go through them all and do that. So... In the next video, oh, sorry about that. In the next video, I'll be telling you how you can um, set it up so HD access works and a couple of other things. But I'm not going to um, do that in this video. I'll just carry on with it. And now we're going to add the different domains in. So I've already copied some, um, copied this anyway. Uh, and I'm going to go through each line and tell you what it is. The reason I haven't typed it out is because knowing my luck, I'll copy something out wrong, you'll do the same, and then we're both wondering why the hell it isn't working. So I thought well, I'd save myself some time and do it first. So the first 
thing is we open up the virtual host and that's saying anything which is on port 80 goes here and this is saying we're going to create a new server uh, we'll, first we add the server admin so if there's something wrong with the domain then it should say contact your server administrator which is your email at tld.com or whatever that says there basically so you would want to add your own domain name there or your own email address at your own domain blah 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 the next thing is the server name so this is the main domain so this is domain1.tld so say for example you've got google.com the server name will be google.com say for example you've got wilson18.com wilson18.com is your server name if you want to have other aliases of that say for example www domain1.tld then you would have to add the server alias and then the alias for that so which is www.domain1.tld this doesn't have to be the same as the server name this could be uh, www.worldsign18.com it, it doesn't have to be the same one it will work it out um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say where the documents are stored for that domain so we say document root and yes all this is case sensitive it does need to be in the right order and whatnot so it's document root and then var www domains and then domain1.tld that is where every folder or every file within this domain should be stored so if you put it in a different folder no you will not be able to navigate to it unless you do something like um a link to it, but I can't think of what it's called at present. A symbolic link, that's it. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, anything you want to be available on your domain, you need to store it in that folder. And that's why we needed to create it first. The next thing is the custom log. This is the access logs, basically. So we go to var www logs domain1.tld.log and then combined it is important you need to have this combined thing at the end or it will not work um, and then the next thing we're going to have is error logs and that's var www error logs domain1.tld.log you don't need a combined here so don't add it these can be in the same folder um, if you don't want to have logs for a particular domain, you don't need to have them. You can just completely miss out these two lines. Same thing for server alias. You don't need to have that, and that's the same thing for server admin. You don't need them. However, it's a good idea to have them there, just for monitoring purposes and logging purposes and just for whatever you need them, really. And it's the same thing for every single time you want to add a new domain. There are plenty of other settings you can have here, so there's things for like redirect, um, forward users, and other things like that. It's, it's pretty simple. So, you know, you should know how you can have these set up. So you can do whatever you want now. You can have multiple domains in the same server, and it'll all work out fine for you. So once you've done that, you do Control O and Enter to save, and then Control X. So if you went to... Um, domain1.tld now it wouldn't work and the reason for that being is we haven't restarted Apache so it doesn't know to take in the changes we've just made so the way we're going to do that is we do service and then Apache 2 and then restart that same restart Apache 2 which is pretty simple really and if you see any kind of errors here then something's gone wrong. Usually it's quite simple to find out what it is. Um, you can view the Apache error logs as well. It won't be in the error logs you've just set up, but it will be somewhere else. A quick Google of that will tell you, and it's quite easy to find out. But providing everything goes well, you should see a screen that looks like this, and just asking you to give it the next command. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to create a file um, within each of these called index.php and in tld or domain1.tld it'll say this is the first domain in the second one it'll say this is the second domain you don't really need to do this but this is just 
me showing you that it's working and the way I'm going to do this is echo this is the first domain into domain1.tld index.php and echo blah 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 same thing again and once you've done that click enter and there should be new files in there so if we go to cd and then domains domain one.tld you can see there's a file in there called mx.php so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to these domains and make sure it's working so if i go to domain one.tld ta-da and domain two oh helps if i put the dot in sorry about that there we go this is a second domain it's quite easy and we've now got it working so obviously you can have your own websites in there you can have php and other things like that depends what you set up on the server but everything should work fine uh, the next thing we need to do is just really delete those files because we don't really want that to be our new website do we so, so to do that we're going to do rm and then the directory and the file so let's go back all the way up there just to make sure so rm var www domains domain one.tld index.php and same for the second one done that and if we refresh this ta-da it's gone so we know this works we've set up everything that we need to do and um, I think we're done to be honest so I hope you liked the video if you didn't I'm very sorry I w I'm just gonna say if you don't like it feel free to dislike it uh, click the little dislike button I'm not really that bothered the only thing that does upset me is when you click dislike and you don't tell me why I understand that you may not like my videos some of them are, are pretty enough some of them may be useful and you might like them but if you don't like them please go and say why this is only so that I can improve them because I know what it's like to watch a, a crap video if you don't like it then it's not fair that you should have to continue watching them <laughs> so tell me what you want uh, changing and I'll do my best to do it and we can make it better for you me and every other poor person that has to watch my videos so thank you very much for watching and if you subscribe you'll see a little notification on the right hand or the left hand side of your screen telling you when I create a new video if you've got it set up like that which you probably haven't so that comment is probably just completely pointless but Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.